Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty Christmas card. This card I used the stamp set Playful Penguins, um, which is in the Christmas catalogue. And we're going to be using this uh, penguin and the scarf. Um, yeah, just them two. To make this card I used a card base of an eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. Let's do that now. Two pieces of white cardstock, um, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Did I do anything inside? Yeah. May your New Year dreams come true. So I need to get that out. That's out and ready. I see these dimensional bits getting on my nerves. Right, I also used a white piece of cardstock at two and five eighths square, so two and five eighths by two and five eighths, and a red piece at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. That went on there. I also used the sm third one up of these nesting stitch dies for that for the sentiment the sentiment uh, Christmas wishes is a non stamping up stamp it's just one I had in my stash which I'll use and I've also got a snowflake for at the top <coughs> sorry about that I forgot to put the phone on silent where was I Oh yes, it's um, a non-stamping up stamp, so I'm using that. For the papers, these two I just had in my stash, and these two are stamping up colours. These were from a couple of years ago, and I just wanted red and green, so I found these in my stash. I think Gaynor sent me these, Gaynor Boyce. And I've got a scrap of red for the penguin scarf. So we need that to stamp on that little bit. That stamp on on the scarf. These can all go to one side for now. I have cut two of these in case I make a mistake. Right. First of all, we'll do the penguin. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black for this. As I find um, using my Versafine for the penguin makes it really dark. So all I'm going to do is stamp him there. Like that. Isn't he cute? Well, I think it's cute. So, we've done that. I don't want to use that now. I have got Cherry Cobbler for the scarf, which we'll have to hand cut. So, I'll just put that on there. Clean that stamp. And then put this away. We don't need that no more. Right, I'm going to use Versafine for the sentiment. See if I can get this on here without messing it up. But if I do mess it up, I have got another one. I can try again. It's a little bit low. Let's try again. 
on another one. I think I've just put it in the same place. Oh no, that one's a bit better. That is all our stamping done. Right, we just need to cut out the scarf. And I'm cutting it on the line as I don't want any borders. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, let's stick this on its mat. Am I? That's better. And then we'll stick his scarf on. And just tuck it up under his chin. And then we'll put dimensionals on the back of both of these. Well, this one, I just want it on this side and this one on the back. And one this side. All right. That's that down. Next, we want to sort these. We want to flag these um, strips. Now, to get the center, all I did was fold them in half and just pinched that center bit. Then I know I've got it in the middle. Do the same again on this one. And with my scissors, I just cut up and plug it out. And that will sit like that. So let's stick these down. I can't remember the name of this 
something quilt. I'm sure it was a quilt. Quilted Christmas. I can't remember. The name isn't on the back of um, on the packet that Gaina gave me it in. She had a few of them. She gave me a few packets of um, retired papers. Right, and this one, I'm going to bring it in like that. I think that looks nice and let's glue this on got to do oh no let's glue ah uh, what do you call it snowflake glue our snowflake on Take the backs off of these. And we'll stick that about Right. Yeah, it is. And then we're going to add some gems while I've got the glue in my hand. I've got these self adhesive resin gems that are red, but I'm still going to put a blob of glue down for them. And this I shall sit just there. Like that. Looks different because this is a lighter green and lighter red and green. But they look nice. I think they look nice anyway. So that will just leave us to stamp the inside. So with my versifying, let's put it on there straight. Now with this right now, I can't tell if it's upside down or not. But it doesn't matter because I can just turn the page around. Inside. 
and then we have it. Another pretty Christmas card. Well, pretty. Christmassy Christmas card with a penguin. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And um, if you press the bell icon button, you'll be notified of any more uh, videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.